A join is a condition that restricts the result set of a multi-relational query. After you have inserted more than one table in the schema, you need to create joins between related tables. Joins are as important as tables in a schema, because they allow you to combine data from multiple tables in a meaningful way. In this tutorial, you will review the steps involved in creating and identifying the different join types in a data foundation. Note that this tutorial is based on functionality available in SAP Business Objects Information Design Tool 4.0, version 14.0.0, v2010-1019-0760. To navigate, use the viewer controls. Why do you need to define joins in a data foundation? If you run a query that involves inferring a select statement from two tables that have not been joined in the universe structure, the resulting report produces a Cartesian product, in which the resulting report joins every column in the first table, to every column in the second. To prevent a Cartesian product from happening, you need to specify a join between the tables in the data foundation of the universe, in the information design tool. With the join in place, the resulting report displays the matching columns, and outputs the correct result. SQL specifies a join implicitly in a WHERE clause, through a reference to the matching or common columns of the tables. Normally, there is one WHERE clause for each pair of tables being joined. For example, if four tables are being combined, three WHERE conditions are necessary. In the Information Design Tool Data Foundation view, you can graphically create individual joins between tables, by dragging a line from a column in one table, to a matching column in another table. The standard created join type is an equijoin, in which the syntax is table 1, column A, equals table 2, column A. In a normalized database, the columns used in an equijoin are often the primary key from one table, and the foreign key in the other. Once you have created an initial equijoin between two tables, you can modify it to conform to a different available join type. For the schema in this example, if you wish to obtain data for a customer with a country as a starting point, the SQL path is directed through many tables, which slows down performance. To improve performance, you can use a shortcut join, which takes advantage of denormalized foreign keys. By adding a foreign key for country ID to the customer table in the database, you can create a shortcut join in the universe that skips over the intermediate tables and shortens the join path. A shortcut join appears as a dotted line in the data foundation view. If the country table contains values for a country, but matching region values are not available for the country in the join region table, using an equi join would automatically exclude the country from the report. You can use an outer join to retrieve all country values. When you select the outer join option for the country table in the data foundation view, you will retrieve all countries, whether they have a region or not. Note that in the information design tool, the outer join is always placed on the table that contains all of the data. When there is no obvious direct column to column relationship between two tables, you can use a theta join. A theta join is a between type join that links tables based on a relationship other than equality between two columns. It is used to demonstrate ranges, such as start date and end date, or minimum and maximum. A theta join can use any operator, other than the equal operator. You have successfully reviewed the steps involved in creating and identifying the different join types in a data foundation. This is the end of the tutorial.